So well, we, this is an interesting picture. Yes, Here we go. The ben Milliken <laughs> situation. Very, very I was going to ask you about that. What? <laughs> so having a ball doing it. <laughs> so we we're taking a look, Matt Airy, for perspective of the fans at home. There's eight lakes on the Harris chain. If you've never been here, there's two different locks you have to go through, multiple canals that you idle through. Ben Milliken, top right of your screen, started the day in second place. He is the last man in the elite qualification right now, but he is in a line right now, it looks like, for the lock or for, for something up ahead. I don't think they're at the lock. I think <coughs> there's no way the line is that long. There may be some interaction happening up ahead that has others waiting. Something but. doesn't look right here to me. No. You know, that, that lock holds, uh, what, three boats roughly? Three boats. And uh, you look like you got at least a half a dozen or more boats lined up in the canal well, there. waiting to get through the and, lock uh, here. No, they, Yesterday, he is not right at the there lock. was zero wait at about the same time of day. We passed several guys in the way that actually turned around, didn't want to wait any longer, but ah, our fishing time is dwindling as we, uh, as we wait here. There's only three boats at a time that can make it through this lock. And if we would have made it through right away, we still would have only had two and a half, three hours of fishing. So fingers crossed, they keep hurrying people through the lock and the lock continues to, uh, okay. continues to operate properly like it did not yesterday. So looks like we're moving up a little bit, two or three more lock cycles and we might be able to make her through here. Wow. So apparently- Which, What is it? It, five to ten minutes per like it, lock cycle? Lock maybe cycle. ten to fifteen roughly, but it looks like to me that a lot of guys had the same game plan. They're like, we'll stop somewhere short, fish a while, and then they just happen to all show up at the lock at the same time. Um, you know, bad luck uh, on Milliken's part, but um, you know, that's part of the part of the game we play. It's the decisions we make that, that change the outcome of a whole day. And, and you know, he, he's sitting there, you know, he's gonna be there for another, what, roughly 30 to 45 minutes minimum, I'm guessing. He's got you know, a couple locks to go through in front of him. And um, then he's got to get to the south end of Apopka after talking to him where he's fishing this week. That's where he'll have to make his way down okay. there. And, and it's different, Matt. If he's sitting in this situation, waiting, watching, when he's got five small ones in the live well, or he caught some fish off his starting spot. Yep. For him not to have any when he left his starting spot, so he lost an hour of fishing time in a popka because he stopped and fished and then didn't yeah. catch any that's that's a tough balance well and in and in his yeah. mind when he's sitting on his starting spot he's thinking okay all these boats are going on through to a popka when i get to the lock it's going to be wide open yeah. he gets there and his worst nightmare has has materialized and he's got a you know a dozen boats in front of him he's got the lock. at least we know the lock's working now he did know, say that yeah and we also know <laughs> kyle patrick kyle austin went straight there and we're already yep. like they've been in there for a long time we see um, both of them on the right side of your screen, they're where Ben Milliken's trying to get to. 